Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm here to talk about Charlotte Flair and why she is overrated. So yes, let's go and get started. Alright y'all, so Charlotte Flair is the daughter of Ric Flair, for those that aren't really too familiar with WWE or wrestling in general, because... I know some of my subscribers and viewers aren't fans of wrestling, so I just wanted to bring that part up for those that don't know that. But, yeah, man, Charlotte Flair, this bitch is overrated as fuck. People call her the greatest female of all time when it comes to WWE, and that's just fucking stupid to even say. Just because... WWE has been over pushing this bitch since her main roster debut does not mean that she is the greatest female in WWE history because she's far from it. She's not better than Lita. She's not better than Trish Stratus. She's not better than Mickie James. Them are like the top three women of all time if you ask me. Trish Stratus, Lita, and Mickie James. And no, Charlotte Flair is not better than any of them three. And yet, these people want to say, oh, Charlotte Flair isn't overrated, she's just overpushed. Bull fucking shit, she isn't overrated. She's both overrated and overpushed. So, yeah, there's other women in the WWE besides this bitch currently. But no, WWE keeps shoving her ass down our throats 24-7 for the last 5 or 6 years. And it's fucking stale, man, at this point. How wonder your women's division is fucking... Trash WWE because you keep over pushing Charlotte Flair. You fucking suspend a bitch for attacking a referee and then you bring her bitch ass back the following week. Get the hell out of here with that bullshit because that wasn't even a damn suspension. If you're going to suspend her indefinitely, suspend her for weeks or even months. Don't bring her back the damn next week because that's not a suspension. That's not a suspension. That's just WWE trying to fool everyone. By having Sonya Deville bring her back the following week. It's fucking ridiculous how WWE just keeps over pushing this bitch and burying other women. They should have they should have had other women be multiple champions by now. Multi time champions by now, cause this bitch Charlotte here she's not the best of all time or greatest of all time just because she has like twelve or thirteen title reigns within five or six years, that doesn't make her the greatest female in WWE history, no matter how many damn reigns she has. Just because you have more reigns than someone in a title history, that doesn't mean you're the greatest, because there's plenty of female wrestlers that are way fucking better than Charlotte Flair. And another reason why she's overpushed is because she's the daughter of Ric Flair. Think about it, people. Think about it. Because... To me, I just don't think she's overrated. She's overpushed as well. And I know a lot of her fans are going to come on this video saying, Oh, Charlotte Flair's not overrated. She's just overpushed. Bullshit, she ain't overrated. Is that why they keep shoving her down our throats every fucking week on television? They're probably going to have the bitch win the title again 14th time or whatever this coming Sunday at WrestleMania Backlash. They'll probably have the bitch win the title and make Rhea Ripley look like a fucking joke. Because they sure love sh shoving Charlotte down people's throats for a number of years now. This is why your women's division is fucking garbage. Like I said earlier on in the video. Because no matter what happens, you have her lose a championship for a while. Take her out of the title picture and then they bring her right back in after a certain amount of time. It's just... Why don't they just call the WWE Women's Division Charlotte Flair because this is the only woman who gets multiple pushes. I give it less than a year of Rhea Ripley being on the main roster. I give it less than a year and she's going to be dropping out to Charlotte over and over as long as they keep going forward with the same ass, same boring ass storyline. So, yeah. It's a shame that these women who are actually talented don't get the pushes that they truly deserve because WWE would rather shove this trainee looking bitch down our throats. It's fucking bullshit. Seriously. 
title Charlotte Flair. At the beginning, it was okay because she was new to the main roster. But nowadays, no, it's not okay because she's just over-pushed, over-pushed, and over-pushed. Now, when it comes to Charlotte, I don't hate her by any means. I'm just sick of her getting all these title opportunities and all this shit because there's plenty of women in WWE right now that are actually better than Charlotte. Asuka, I think she's better than Charlotte. And Alexa Bliss is better than Charlotte. There's plenty of women on this fucking WWE roster between Raw and SmackDown that are way better than Charlotte. But yet, Charlotte is the only one who gets all these title opportunities after title opportunity after title opportunity. Just bullshit. Seriously. And if you don't call that overrated, then I don't know what you call it. Because to me, it's not just overpushed. It's overrated as well. So, yeah, man. I'm just fucking sick of her being overpushed and WWE ruining their women's division. It's like, if you guys don't think you guys have any female stars, then don't even sign them. If you're just going to make them job out to Charlotte Flair thousands of damn times in less than a decade. It's just bullshit how they keep over pushing her. Like I said, the only reason she's really over pushed is because she's the daughter of Ric Flair and the Flair name when it comes to history and WWE and all that shit. And no, she will never be better than her father Ric Flair. And I don't give a fuck if WWE has this Charlotte Flair take over more title reigns than Rick. If that happens, then that's bullshit because there's way more deserving talent in WWE to have Ric Flair's record broken by because right now, the only one that is a 16-time champion along with Ric Flair is John Cena. So I'd rather John Cena break the record than Charlotte because Charlotte, she doesn't deserve this anymore. It's time to move on with the other talent in WWE. But no, Charlotte is the only one who gets shoved down everyone's throats for nearly six years. And it's just bullshit. So yes, guys, with that being said, I really have nothing else to say about Charlotte. I just wanted to make this video. If you guys like Charlotte, that's fine with me. I'm just tired of her being over pushed and overrated and shit like that. So yes, guys, with that being said, though, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.